Gajendra, the great elephant devotee of the Lord. An inspiring story from Srimad Bhagavatam about Gajendra, the king of elephants. In a land far, far away from us, under the foothills of Trikuta, there was a beautiful garden, Ritumad, surrounded by a beautiful lake. The water in the lake was very sweet and filled with golden lotus and lilies of various kinds. Here in the forest of Trikuta, there lived Gajendra, the king of the elephants. Gajendra was so powerful that all the animals would tremble out of fear. One day, while Gajendra was roaming along with his herd of elephants, he could sense a sweet smell in the air around him. It was coming from the flowers in the lake. Gajendra, along with his herd, followed the scent and was astonished to find the most beautiful lake. The elephants with their trunks drank the clear water and began to play in the lake with joy. This disturbed a huge crocodile who was living in the lake. Irritated by the elephant's activities, the crocodile at once seized Gajendra's foot and dragged him down. Even though Gajendra was very strong, in the water it was very difficult for him to defeat the crocodile. All the other elephants tried very hard to pull Gajendra out of the water, but they failed. So they all gave up and left Gajendra alone to fight the crocodile. Believe it or not, for more than a thousand years, Gajendra continued to fight. Even the gods from the heavenly planets were surprised to see this. But as time passed by, Gajendra began to lose all his strength and the crocodile began to gain more power. In the previous life, Gajendra was King Indradyumna of the Pandya dynasty and was a great devotee of Lord Narayana. One day, while he was meditating at Kulachala, his guru Agastya visited him. He was so immersed in his meditation that he failed to realize that sage Agastya had come. Angered by the king's behavior, Agastya cursed him to be born as an elephant. When the king realized his mistake, he pleaded his guru for his forgiveness from his guru. Agastya pardoned him and said, You will be redeemed of this curse only by the mercy of Lord Narayana. Even the crocodile was not an ordinary reptile. He was who the Gandharva, a celestial being in his previous life. Once, when Huhu was playing in the lake, along with his wife, he saw sage Devala offering prayers in the same lake. Being mischievous, Huhu playfully pulled sage Devala's leg into the water. The sage was frightened for a moment. But when he realized that it was the prank that Huhu had played on him, he became very furious. Annoyed by this act, the sage cursed Huhu to become a crocodile. Huhu realized his mistake and begged the sage for forgiveness. The sage told that he will be relieved only by the mercy of Lord when he attacks his devotee Gajendra. Soon, Huhu developed scales and was transferred into a crocodile. Since then, he waited in the lake for Lord's arrival. Now, having been deserted by his herd, Gajendra started thinking of his position in life, being helpless when in distress. Gajendra was aggravated with pain and he became physically and mentally exhausted. When Gajendra was suffering, he began to recollect prayers that he had learned from his previous birth. He started reciting the same prayer once again. When Lord Narayana heard Gajendra's prayer, he rushed out of Vaikuntha. The abode of Lord, the Supreme Personality of God is called Vaikuntha. Hearing the prayers offered by Gajendra, 
Lord Narayana appeared before him as Lord Hari, the protector of his devotee. Armed with his chakra and all the other weapons, and mount on Garuda, the king of birds. As soon as Gajendra saw Lord Narayana, he plucked a lotus flower from the pond and offered his respects. Lord Narayana pulled out both the crocodile and Gajendra to the land, and he severed the crocodile's head with his chakra. The crocodile regained his original form as Huhu, a Gandharva. Relieved of his curse, Huhu offered his prayers to Lord Narayana and ascended to Gandharva Loka. Even though Gajendra was an elephant, Lord Narayana granted Gajendra liberation because he had completely surrendered himself to the Lord. Demigods expressed their gratification by showering flowers from the sky. This is the story of Gajendra Moksha. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 8, Chapter 2, God says, My dear devotee, unto those who rise from bed at the end of the night and offer me the prayers offered by you, I give an eternal residence in the spiritual world at the end of their lives. Did you like the story, my friends? If you like the story, please give a like, subscribe and share your comments in the comment section. See you soon in my next video. Thank you.